The Carbon Dioxide Anomaly When Webb's near-infrared spectrograph delivered its first data packet, the anomaly was impossible to miss. The absorption band at 4.26 microns was breathtakingly strong. It's the classic textbook signature for carbon dioxide, and it utterly dominated the spectrum. The final analysis confirmed a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1. That isn't just an anomaly, it's a statistical impossibility based on every comet we have ever studied. For context, even the most carbon dioxide rich comets in our system barely reach a ratio of 0.3. The gas production rate was staggering, calculated at over 1.5 times 10 to the 28th molecules per second, an output comparable to what the great comet Hale-Bopp produced when it was much closer to the sun. Every cross-check from Hubble and the Keck Observatory confirmed it. This isn't a calibration error, it's a message, as a planetary scientist like Stephanie Malam at NASA would argue, from a star system where the chemistry of planet formation was completely inverted. Such a system might have formed around a carbon star, creating a world where carbon dioxide not water is the dominant ice.